I like to screw the bottom boards onto the hive body. That's the best way to do it so I don't uh, have any escapee bees or any accidents while we're moving bees. We want them contained. R.O.B. Manley used to go to great lengths to keep the bees inside the box while he's moving them. If you're going to lock the bees inside the box, you got to make sure they don't overheat. So it's nice to have some ventilation if you're going to be moving them when, they're, when it's hot. We don't want to heat stress the bees. You don't want to kill the bees by overheating. That happens. I've had it happen to me. Today's pretty cool weather and we are um, not moving them very far at all. So we'll get away with them. Now I got a bee tight box. We're uh, ready to move. This video shows the process of making up nukes. So beforehand, I've uh, started some new queen cells in this box, and they'll be ripe here in a couple of days. And so I'm going to make the nukes in preparation for doing so. I've got them all lined out in front of my hives, and I've taken a frame of honey from last year and put in there. If you don't have a frame of honey from last year, then we uh, can take one out while we're making up the nukes. So now I'll approach a uh, strong colony that is ready to be split. I've got my smoker going. I doubt there will be anything in the top box that I need. There may be some honey there, but I'm after a frame of brood or two, and a frame of honey or two, and a frame of a little bit of both. So let's take this top box off. They're still working on those frames there. I'll set it aside. I expect uh, much the same from the third box up. This is the end of April and Usually we have swarms coming out a little bit earlier this year. Swarm season's a little bit late, so we're making splits a little bit uh, a week or two later than we usually do. Uh, I came in here before and I put a couple of frames of brood up higher. So let's take a frame of brood out. And we're likely to find the queen on a frame of brood, so I'll inspect carefully for the queen bee before I put this in a nuke box. So there's a frame of brood that's capped over. I don't see young larvae in that frame, which means the queen is probably down below. But we'll give it a good looking over first just to make sure. And I don't see her. I see lots of drones on there. We'll put in a frame of brood. This early in the year, they might gain enough speed and momentum if I only had one frame of brood in there. It would be best if I put two. There's another good frame right there. I'm seeing larva that's about three days old. And I'm not seeing any eggs, so maybe the queen's not up here. Frame of brood in this box. I need some pollen. Let's go down to the next box. Set the box on its end so you don't smash bees. A little more smoke. I don't want to smoke them too much. Be nice if uh, I could find the queen, but 
I don't want to chase the bees off the frames. So keeping the bees on the frames with just a little bit of smoke. If I took only the amount of brood that I have so far out of this hive and then put it back together, they wouldn't miss it much. They wouldn't lose a lot of momentum. However, experience has taught me that it's better to get these nukes started off early as possible in the season rather than take a frame or two of brood out as the season goes along and makes up, make up nukes into May and into June. Let's just do it now, get them started, get them going, get a head start on the season. So got a frame of honey, frame of brood. A little bit of pollen there. There's not a lot of bees on that one, but we've got plenty of honey and a little bit of pollen. I think we'll call that good. There's a three frame nuke, one frame of brood, frame of honey, frame of honey and pollen. All done. Close up the entrance and I'll put it in the shade. Another good frame of brood. Queen's likely to be down here. And I see eggs, so I'm gonna look careful, extra careful for the queen on this one. That's four frames of brood out of this colony. Frame of brood and there's plenty of pollen in this one. Check carefully for the queen. Another frame of brood. It's mostly capped over brood and what other shells there are are full so I wouldn't expect to find the queen here. pollen and honey. I'm having a second thought about this first one I made up. I don't think there's enough bees on that second frame. So I'm going to shake this one off. We've got all the frames we need. I'm just going to add some more bees to it. There's some open brood on this frame and some pollen. I think we'll put that little bit of open brood with one of these other colonies and so they've got a frame of brood in a little bit. We'll call that one good. Put it in shape. Okay, Stan Moulton Honey Company, we uh, set up that cell starter 10 days ago. Now we're going to take the cells out. Let's see how they did. I already took a couple of them out. A couple of these cells up here don't look so great. They're, they look okay, but they're a little short. They're stubby. These look fine. I think we got a good batch of queens. They've built some webbing around some of the cells. 
So I'm going to cut that out carefully. Carefully I'll remove that webbing around there. See that's attached to that one there. I'll just kind of cut that out of the way. There's these two cells right here that I need to I need to separate. So if I'm careful, I can cut that wax and webbing out of the way. All right. We've moved our nukes that we just made to a new location and now I'm going to take a cell out of the queen bank and place it in the nuke that we just made up. So here's a ripe queen cell. I want to handle it with care. Make sure that we open the door to our nukes. Don't want to drive away and forget to do that. I've done that before. There's not enough room in this hive to spread the top bars of the frames apart. So here's what I need to do. I'll lift this frame part of the way out and I'll make a space in here where I can put the queen cell she's got to have enough room at the bottom of the cell to emerge. I don't want to damage her when I put her back down in there. Okay. That's on a frame of honey next to the frame of honey. That's okay. That's right there. That rock's on the top of there to keep the livestock from tipping the hive over, not to keep the lid on. This lid's hinged on so it's not going anywhere. All right, we go do that again on the next nuke. Making sure the end of the queen cell isn't jammed into the comb next to it. Okay, that looks good. Make sure to open the entrance. Now we just wait for two weeks to see if We've got a mated queen.